All right, so right now I'm going to show how the car typically looks while I'm driving. Uh, you can see the sunscreens in the front couple windows. Those, of course, are not there during a drive. Um, but this is what the back tends to look like. So, um, and again, <laughs> there is still a shade up this lovely scarf. I love it so much. But um, that is, of course, down. I just have it up right now. Um, to block some of the sun to see how this video works. So all this stuff that's right at the back is my sleeping gear. And then this bag contains the sunshades, the things I made with, oh God, what this stuff is that called? Heat shield. Um, it's the bubble wrap with the foil and I'm totally blanking on the name right now. It'll come to me. Anyway, there's this cool net knit basket um, that I'll put fruit in like bananas and stuff that can't bang around. Also, it holds my hats. So that's what it's holding right now. Uh, clothes that tend to get wrinkly, hung them up. Um, so they're right there on hangers and that's handy to have. And all of my sleep gear, which I'll go through later. And that's all in the back. Also, there's a backpack under that pile and a jacket. Uh, then over here um, is a bag full of shoes that get shoved right down in between the seat and the door. Um, more clothing. I absolutely love these bags. Again, I know more plastic, but I am using it up because it already existed. None of the plastic here. Um, Aside from like some food containers, but none of the supplies uh, did I buy. I basically, everything I have in this car was found, reused from my dad's old stuff or my mom's. So these are just those typical bags that are for sheet sets and comforters and stuff. And they're full of clothes. I have, I think, four or five of them. So I can sort clothes like by... Um, weather type basically this is a bag of t-shirts and warmer weather clothes there's a bag of colder weather clothes long jeans and sweaters um and yeah i'll go through i'll do a clothes tour of course so that is what typically the back looks like there's actually a ton of space like i could have way more stuff but of course i don't want to I'm a minimalist. <laughs> There's no reason for it. So um, then this is sort of the entrance to the car. I totally tricked it out with this fabulous foil tape that I love so much. Um, this is here uh, protecting the car from the high traffic area because this is where I tend to get in and out of the car. So I put down this little piece of plastic. Um, I found it at the bottom of a reusable shopping bag. It was like to help it keep its structure, taped it down so that that's the way um, if I have muddy shoes, they tend to stay on there. And then, yes, this is the famous everybody has to have one of these. <laughs> Y'all know what that is. Um, actually, haven't had to use that yet, but that is... Uh, a warning sign so and then down here is um, a spray bottle uh, it's like more Windex stuff I just filled it with vinegar um, again a reused bottle I mean this is really old but I've just been reusing and reusing that spray bottle because I can never have too many spray bottles I have um, supplies in this bin here this is like minor tools and things I tend to use on a daily basis stuff that I don't want shoved in the back and this is a plastic bag I know more plastic um, which has dirty boots in it to keep them clean they got muddy on a hike the other day so they're in that bag so that they don't get any mud in the car and that all just goes right there um, nice and secure while I drive oh this this is the the jug I use the most time I'm gonna do I will do a video absolutely on how I go to the bathroom and that is all right there so that's what the back of the car looks like when I'm driving and the front of the car is pretty much clean oh, there goes this jug dumping out so it actually usually stays right here then we go into the front and okay so the food is not there when I'm driving the food all of this food sits fits under my seat there's a spot under this passenger seat and then all of this other supplies I have two gallon jugs of water I have this um, 
bottle holder where I keep my kombucha bottles. They get full of water. They're glass bottles and they're fabulous for water. Um, they fit perfectly in my cup holder so I always have one ready when I'm driving. I have this big old thing of paper towels. Again, something my dad had in his basement so I'm just going to use it up. I don't even know if I'll ever be able to use up that many. but um, So that's, uh, that's handy. That gets used as toilet paper, hand washer, car cleaner, everything. Um, the glove box has um, <laughs> more paper towels. These were in the car for years like from Taco Bell of course and maps and whatnot and then I also have maps and paperwork and supplies in this bin and normally my day pack my purse my backpack my everything bag sits right here on this seat and then I have my driving buddy say hi I know I'm 30 years old and I'm traveling with a stuffed animal but I've had him since I was a baby that's why he looks so fabulous anyway this is Gus and this is a this is an old waitress belt that I had that my mom had we used to work in restaurants and um, if I ever work in a restaurant again I can use this working in restaurants is a good quick job on the road there are supplies like more garbage bags there's a pair of leather gloves Headlamps. I have one up here, which is easy, and an, and a backup headlamp. My dad had two, so I took them both. And a brush. This is what I use to clean out the car. It's great for sweeping out the carpet, or if you've gotten anything um, on the floors. And instead of vacuuming, I like that a lot better. So that is my car while I'm driving.